Hello good people of YouTube, All About Nat is back with another video and today as you can tell by the title we're going to cover a couple of things one being um, how I am going to be storing my Supreme sticker collection and I thought I'd share that with you in case any of you guys wanted to do the same thing or yeah just generally an idea that I thought I'd get out to you guys and the other being the non-supreme streetwear stroke outdoor wear brands that I really like. Um, some that you may have heard of, some that you may not have. And I just thought, you know, I'd share those with you because my wardrobe does not just consist of Supreme. There are other brands that I really, really like. So I thought I'd get those out to you as well. Now, without further ado, Oh, and also, if you're new to my channel, please, please subscribe, like, comment down below what other brands you're into um, also, and just let me know what you think of the brands I'm into. Let's just have a good old chit chat about it. So without further ado, let's get into it. I will show you um, my Supreme sticker collection storage thingy, Bob idea I'll show you that first so I have started to do um, using a scrapbook a dead cheap scrapbook a DIY um, kind of a version of how can I <coughs> how can I describe it so you know when you were a kid and you you did the trading cards and you used to have that nice little folder where you'd put your trading cards into it's kind of, well, it's not like that, it, but it's it's inspired by that, but doing it to fit each individual sticker, because as we know, Supreme stickers aren't just a card size. So with that being in mind, I thought I'm going to do it myself so I can sort of um, customise how I want collection book to be, really. So... First of all, I went to a cheap shop here in the UK. Um, I'm sure you've got them overseas as well. It's called B&M, dead cheap scrapbook. It was like a couple of quid. Um, and as you can see, it's got just a generic sort of pattern on it. What I did the other day was get my massive brick of Supreme stickers and I cut them to size to cover this and I will be doing the back as well what I needed to use for this was a pen some sellotape a guillotine if you have a guillotine I would recommend you can get them pretty cheap I would recommend getting a guillotine because then you know that all the cuts you're making are 100% straight um, and the other thing you need is Need a lot of spare Supreme stickers um, and these little um, A4 pouches, pouches that you would have for school or whatever or work or whatever. Um, so those are the things you need. Um, is there anything else? No, I think that's it. So I would get all those things together and then Obviously with this, you literally, you're taking your sticker and you're working across and cutting them down. So these still come in handy. So when you've cut it down, do, do not throw away these bits because they come in handy for later on. So that's how you do your cover and your back cover. Then inside, so as you have seen, I'm sure you've seen from my live videos, I have got a humongous box of stickers. This is going to take me forever to do. But it's just a nice little ongoing project. Um, so you get all your stickers. And literally, the first one I've done is one of my favourites. Um, and I'm going to be doing little labels underneath each one so it tells you the year what it was called blah 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 so it's just really nice to look back on over the years so the first one I've done 
is the street scene sticker um, so I'm going to be putting a label underneath here saying when it was now if you want to um, sort of if you want to cover the, the sellotape then you can carry on I mean you can use strips of this you can do it however you want really I'm kind of leaving it as it is but I'm just going to put a label underneath so you've cutting down the pouches sellotaping the edges obviously cut it down to measure so you can get the sticker out as well this is my first page I will be going I won't be doing it in an order I wanted to do the first page one of the one of my favorites um, and then I will carry on you know if I've got a full set of something I will do a full set and so on and so on it's just a really nice easy way to look for your stickers instead of an old shoebox so I thought I'd share that with you if you want to have a go at it go for it I would say it's just it's pretty nice just stick a film on and go for it it's fun so that is the first thing I wanted to share with you now on to other brands now many of you will know if you've been following my channel for a long time you will know I'm a massive fan of Supreme I'm a massive fan of Nike um, and there are other brands thrown in there that I really love so I've put together a pile of um, t-shirts sweatshirts of other brands that I really like and I thought I'd share with you so obviously in my collection I do have a lot of Nike I have a lot of vintage Nike hence this is a vintage piece I'm wearing now this is from, oh, when is it from? Probably late 90s, early 2000s. So this is a vintage Nike piece, but also I have brand new Nike. And you know, I recently picked this up, the ACG long sleeve t-shirt with the dude on the back, the hiker dude from back in the 70s, that design was. Um, I also really love uh, this brand called Alpkit. Now Alpkit is a British brand. It's based in the Peak District, which is where I live. And um, they do some really nice t-shirts, sweatshirts, outdoor gear. And funnily enough, their main logo is that. It's white text with a red background. Huh. Yeah. So, um yeah this is a really nice british brand they've got a shop near me they've also got one in the lake district um which again is just outdoor hiking territory really um and yeah it's a really nice really nice brand and i do i wear that t-shirt quite a bit the next piece isn't actually a brand but it's my local record shop and i have a tote bag that i use when i'm out shopping and this is such a nice piece. I love their logo. I really, I'd love it if they brought out pin badges as well. It's such a great logo. And this, obviously, is New Mills, High Peak. It's where I live. So it's a really cool record shop. Um, and I like to support the local businesses. So I picked up this T-shirt um, a few months back. The next piece is a brand I have mentioned before and it's a New York brand and it's very came out at a very similar time to um, Supreme and that is A Life. Now unfortunately A Life don't really have don't think they have any stockists in the UK anymore. If they have they're very limited. So unfortunately it means I have to order from their American website and then you get customs and import charges which is pain in the royal arse um yeah so Isle of a life is great really nice brand i have battered this t-shirt and i would say this t-shirt is now classed as vintage i got it in the early 2000s but i can't chuck it out i love it i just love it and they've got the little logo there yeah a life is one of one of my favorite brands it's just really hard to come by it's really hard to get hold of so um but yeah, I, there is a few things actually that are in the sale at the moment that I really want, but I really don't want to be hit with customs charges. 
So that is the next one on the list. A Life Advert. I highly recommend it. As I say, they've been going since. God, how long ago? I'd say I think it was a little bit after Supreme. It might be 96 or 97, something like that. Um, and then the next brand, I think we all know, is Human Made. Um, now, that's Nego's brand. Nego, and I think Pharrell might have a hand in it, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, Nego, obviously, founded Bape many moons ago. And then he sold it, and Bape then went shit, <laughs> in my opinion. I used to love Bape back in the day, but no, no more. It's just too... Samey, samey, yes, samey. Um, but human made, I do like, but I only ever, ever have ever. Well, in fact, I think this is one of the only things I've ever bought of human made. Yeah, I bought this in the sale, so I got it for like 50 quid instead of 90. So, uh, yeah, it's a really nice t shirt, it's so soft. The quality is brilliant, really nice quality. Um, so yeah, so obviously you've got the logo there and then um, you've got this little tag there and on the bottom something somewhere yeah, on the inside you've got that it's really nice, I do, I really like it it's a really nice piece, oh and on the back as well I just wish that it wasn't so damn expensive um, but yeah, really nice piece and I do like it, I think it's a nice brand. It kind of reminds me a little bit of how Bape was when it first came out. Um, so yeah. And the next one is, again, it's kind of a retro brand and I'm sure you've seen me wearing this, Vision Streetwear. Um, back in the 90s when I was skating um, as a kid and they but they have they've still got vision streetwear but i think it's owned by someone else now obviously if you look up there that box that is my 1987 pair of vision streetwear um kicks but this was from uh i bought this about 10 years ago maybe maybe less from top shop I don't know whether you have it overseas, but Topshop is um, uh, like a general high street store for men and women. They have Topshop and Top Man, and I got it from there. And I was just like, oh my god, I remember Vision Streetwear. Oh, so good. So I do like this, really nice top, and I do wear it quite a bit. Howie's, again, a British brand. Um, it's actually based in South Wales. And it, they've been going for since about 94? No. <coughs> no, they haven't. <coughs> what have they? They may have been. Similar time to Supreme, actually, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. They might have been. They might have been. Anyway, they've been going for a while. Very sort of, again, outdoorsy wear, but very simple, simple designs. In fact, I think one of their mantras is life is complicated, sport is simple. There we go. And that is very true. Um, so, yeah, they do some really nice sweatshirts. I've got a navy one of these. And I've, again, I've had this a long time. It's been extremely battered. Uh, and then you've got the little tag there. But, yeah, nice brand again. Very nice brand. And then, obviously... Last, but by no means least, we have Stussy. Now, you, get, you guys know I wear my Stussy quite a bit. I've, this is a vintage Stussy piece. Um, and so you can see. And I've also got quite a few accessories from back in the day. I haven't really bought anything current for quite a while, actually. Um, but... I do really like Stussy. I like, again, what it stands for. I like the fact that it's been going a long time and it's gone kind of under the radar in the last few years. Um, but I think it's coming back, coming back a bit. But it's always been there for me. It's always been there. It's just something that I've, I, I kind of like a little bit with Supreme. I think their older bags, 
especially the bags were far more technical back then than they are now um, and the same thing with Supreme their backpacks and stuff that's why I really like that one because it kind of reminds me a little bit of the older Supreme bags um, so yeah I think with with Stussy it's kind of gone in a similar way in, with the bags especially some of the designs they're not quite as technical as they were but I still love it I love I love Stussy I've always I will always look out for them I will always see what new what's new and what's coming out I follow them on Instagram I'm on their um, newsletter page thing on email so I'll always see what's coming out but it's been a while since I've actually bought anything current so there are definitely a lot of good brands out there that are not quite as hyped you know as supreme but that's you know things go things go in circles and phases at the moment it's supreme and you know in a few years time it might be something else but there's always some good streetwear brands out there and especially smaller ones you know um the likes of uh well, I suppose it's not streetwear, but it's definitely it's um, a kind of a, a contemporary hiking wear, like the likes of Clatamoose and very contemporary, very sort of aesthetically pleasing. So it's not just about the technical aspect of things. It's about the way things look as well. So, yeah. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, my pieces. Let me know what you think what you think of them let me know what you like and the brands you like and also let me know how you store your stickers if you are into collecting the supreme stickers all that kind of good stuff and thank you so much for watching again thank you for your support this far and all about that we'll see you on the next one keep it real guys